Certainly, we all know that exercise in proper measure can be good for health and well-being. However, some people, like many other things, take this to extremes. The Apostle Paul frames bodily exercise, and similar below, with a context that speaks to life in Christ. But refuse profane and old wives' fables, and exercise thyself rather unto godliness. For bodily exercise profiteth little. But godliness is profitable unto all things, having promise of the life that now is, and of that which is to come. This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation. 1 Timothy 4 verses 7 to 9. Let's see what Paul is saying. The introduction of exercise begins with the avoidance of fables, wrongly divided scripture and other wastes of time, and instead instruction to exercise oneself unto godliness. When one understands the new creation, body of Christ, identity is one that by God's action is spiritual and godly. This will not to be confused with some type of striving, physical or otherwise, to achieve. Rather it is resting in the finished work of Christ and the truths of the word, rightly divided, regarding living from the overflow of Holy Spirit's activity, therein and thereafter. This overflow living is profitable in every way and in all things. By comparison, bodily exercise is, by default, a physical striving to improve the physical. And truthfully, such has a relatively low rate of return in this life, much less the life to come. And when our apostle notes what he is saying is faithful and worthy of all acceptance, the student of the word will take note and focus on being who God has already made them in Christ. Believer, exercise godliness. Thank <laughs> you.